Hello, we'll go back to Undertale Pacifist Part 2. Let's get right into it. And of course, as usual, no talking during major boss fights. That's something I would like to enforce strictly. Okay, let's continue. So, hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. Uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Huh? Did I fight them? Yes, of course I did. I fought them vali valiantly. What? Did I capture them? Well, well, no. I tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But Undyne, you don't ha have to destroy them. You see? You see? I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. So yeah, Papyrus, we're his friend, so why, w why would he want to destroy us? Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome! I'm so jealous! What'd you do to get her attention? Haha. <laughs> Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. Hey, Monster Kid trips. Yeah, I see. I don't think Monster Kid has any, any hands, so he's gonna trip a lot, I think, if I remember correctly. So, new area. This, this area is the waterfall. So we got these new puzzles here. We just gotta line the flowers up. There's another one up ahead too. And of course, two enemies. We got Aaron. And Louie just we flex back and forth. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Flexing contest? Okay, flex more. So yeah, this guy's kinda weird. Yeah, flex again. Nice, I won't lose though. So is that his sweat right there? I'm not entirely sure actually. One more time. He flex. Aaron flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. Alright, 30 gold. This puzzle right here. This one has... I Before, I had no idea how to solve this one. I had to look it up. Usually, I do not like looking up solutions to puzzles in games. But for this one, I could not figure it out before. But you just gotta toss them up from underneath. I tried everything, but yeah, I would have never guessed it was th like this. Hello, this is Papyrus. How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours. <laughs> so, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a gross bandage. Is that true? Are you wearing a gross bandage? Well, it is true, so yes. So you are wearing a ghost bandage. Got it. Wink wink. Have a nice day. So yeah, by the time Papyrus were wearing a ghost bandage, then uh, he'd assume we'd be smart and change our clothes. Washua. Alright, gotta clean. Cause these guys like to be clean. He hops around excitedly. So we just gotta touch with one of his green bullets. And he's easy. Spare. And 25 gold. So yeah, look through the telescope. Here, check the wall. So it wants us to check the wall up here. We just gotta check it. Ah oh, yes, the story. Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The war of humans and monsters. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. They'll take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its powers allow it to perf allow it to persist outside the human body, even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul, a horrible beast with unfathomable power. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. 
So yeah, war of humans and monsters. So because the humans feared the monsters, that's why they sent them underground. It's a pretty well written story too. But here, Undyne's gonna chase us with your spears. So we can touch him, but it'll just take us into a, like a battle sequence where we have to avoid your spears. So it's obviously best to avoid them, as best I can. See, they're pretty funny. Instead, she grabs Mon she grabs Monster Kid instead of us. Yo, did you see that? Undyne just touched me. I'm never washing my face ever again. Man, are you unlucky? If you were standing just a little bit to the left. Yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. Hey, trips again. Poor Monster Kid. Ah, yes, the mouse. This cheese has been here so long, a magical, a magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. Knowing the mouse one, one day might extract the cheese from the mystical crystal, it fills you with determination. By the way, did any, anyone play Deltarune yet? It's pretty well written. I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 G to use this premium telescope. But since I know you, you can use it for free. How's Bowser? Use the telescope? Yeah, sure. But all we see is red. Turns out, it was a marker. Huh? You aren't satisfied? Don't worry. I'll give you a full refund. For free. Actually, I think we're good. Actually, I do want the stick later on. So I'll equip the top glove for now. I'm not going to fight, but I just need the stick. Right here. Actually, I already had it. Oh, my bad. No. Up here is... Ah oh yes, nice cream man. I will okay with my store, but there are still no customers. Fortunately, I've thought of a solution. Punch cards. Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for an, a free ice cream. Be sure to get the customers to come back. Ice cream, the frozen treat that warms your heart. Yep, ice cream. I believe I'll just have a full round of an ice cream. First, I gotta deposit some stuff in the box first. Like a spider donut, a toy knife, and a snowman piece. There we go. So, we'll just get four nice creams. Three from buying, and another one from the punch cards. Okay. Oh, wait, actually, I'm carrying too much. We'll just eat this ice cream. There we go. Alright, free and ice cream. Like us happy again. What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? I wonder. So the underground people, do they ever get to see stars considering they're underground? Pretty sad though. But here I wanna get uh another item. I believe it is the tutu. Actually, nah, there's bell issues. Actually, I don't remember where, if I even have a tutu on right now. No, bandage. I think it'll be okay. The bell issues over there, they were just uh, another weapon. But I'm not gonna be doing much fighting, obviously. Here we have Mold Small. I believe we can spare him. Yeah. But I'm not sure why though. Why is it why is it that we're able to spare Mold Smalls? Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about your clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you is very murdery. But I bet you knew that already. And because you knew that, 
I told her what you told me you were wearing. A gross bandage. Because I knew, of course. After such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. You're such a smart cookie. This way you're safe and I didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. So yeah, I believe just, uh, if we wear some different clothes, then it kind of be like Undyne wouldn't recognize us. But we don't have to, it's just the same. Oh yes, here, we have a new character here. Hey there. Noticed you were here. I'm Onion San. Onion San, you here? You're visiting Waterfall? Huh. It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Even though the water's getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but. Hey, hey, that's okay. It beats moving to the city and living in a crowded aquarium like all my friends did. And the aquarium's full uh, anyway, so even if I wanted to, I... That's okay though, you hear? Undyne's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? Hey, hey, there. That's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. In waterfall! So yeah, Onion-san is just Japanese for like, Onion Girl. That's kind of what it means. Ah oh, yeah, Shiren. Shiren hides in the corner, but somehow encounters you anyway. Oh, I almost fought them. Whew, that was- I, I almost hit them. Okay, hum. You hum a sad song, and Shiren follows your melody. I need to hit spare. Alright, 30 gold. Ah oh, yes, the treasure room. Actually, I forgot the I forgot the the thing for the treasure room. I right hear we have a statue. Here we have the umbrella. So if we bring in the umbrella to the statue room, then um we'll be able to listen to the music. Actually, give me a second. I need to. Uh, Alright, sorry about that. So we get an umbrella, and we gotta take it to that statue, because, uh, obviously the water's on top of him. Put the umbrella on the statue, yes. So, pay attention to this, this song he's playing. So that song we just heard, we have to answer that on that piano we saw over here. And if we do it right, then it'll open up the great treasure. So let me see here. I believe it is... Right here. By the way, there's no way I'm, there's no way I memorized that. I just looked it up. <laughs> Sorry, I looked that up. But hey, you got to see the treasure right here. Legendary artifact. Will you take it? Carrying too many dogs, which makes no sense. Open our inventory. We see we have annoying dog. So we got to use him. You deployed the dog. The dog absorbs the artifact. He took the treasure. However, because of that though, inside our inventory we have dog residue. If we use the dog residue, then it fills up the rest of our inventory with even more dog residue. And I believe we can sell it. And uh, it gives us a, do a dog salad too. It's a healing item, but it's I don't, I don't think it's that good actually. But yeah, dog, re dog residue, <coughs> sorry, dog residue can be pretty useful if you use it correctly. But I'm too lazy. Also, I forgot. Well, I need to get one more umbrella. All right. Yo, you got an umbrella? Awesome. Let's see, let's go. So yeah, Monster Kid, no hands. So it's better if we carry an umbrella for him. 
Cause he's just gonna get all lit. Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats the bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night. Knowing she was gonna beat me up. Haha. -ha. So, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. Um, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to even hurt an innocent people. <laughs> I was like ever hurt an innocent person I like this part too it's just so peaceful the castle in the distance this is a very nice made part of the game in my opinion very nicely done yeah turn it umbrella oops there we go. yo this ledge is way too steep yo you want to see undying right climb on my shoulders Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. Bah, but he feels he falls again. Put on a stupid. The serene sound of a distant music box. It fills you with determination. There we go. The humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. They attack suddenly and without mercy. In the end, it could hardly be called a war. United, the humans were too powerful and us monsters too weak. Not a single soul was taken and countless monsters were turned to dust. So yeah, apparently monsters don't stand a chance against humans, which is why us the kid is able to take them down with ease. With the power of our determination. And we, we will have to use that power right now to escape Undyne's next trap. Yep, and, and Dan's gonna attack us again. But this time from the ground up, so... Yeah, if you're good at dodging those, you can actually not get hit once. Whew, that was good. Okay, I think I went the wrong way for sure. My bad. I believe we gotta go downwards. It sounds like it came from over here. Oh! You've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. Isaiah, huh? That's a nice name. My name is... So yeah, if you're wondering about what that was, I'm sure we'll find out later. Don't want to put too many spoilers.
Oh, right here. The cooler. This one here has a pretty good healing item. It's called the uh, astronaut food. Although, I will, I will exchange some ice cream for that, because I want the astronaut food. So, try ice creams. Yes, astronaut food. Actually, that was only one. It seems like a regular training dummy. Do you want to beat it up? Nope. Ah, it's another fight. And here we have the another fight. I will not talk, so don't worry. Enjoy the fight! Alright, that was a pretty good fight. Well, I'm going to head home now. Oh, um, feel free to come with if you want. 
But no pressure. I understand if you're busy. It's fine. No worries. Just thought I'd offer. Yeah, that was, a, that was an okay fight. The hey, my house is up here. In case you wanted to see. Or in case you don't. There we go. Actually, um, Naps to Blue's house is one of my favorite parts of the game. You'll see right here. Sorry. Oh, you really came. Sorry, I wasn't expecting that. It's not much, but make yourself at home. Alright, let's have a ghost sandwich. Oh, are you hungry? I can get you something to eat. This is a ghost sandwich. Do you want to try it? Yeah. You attempt to bite into the ghost sandwich. You phase right through it. Oh, never mind. After a great meal, I like to lie on the ground and feel like garbage. It's a family tradition. Do you want to join me? Yeah. Okay, follow my lead. Let's lay on the ground and feel like garbage. Here we go. You lie down as long as you don't move. So only move around when you want to get up, I guess. Well, that was nice. Thank you. Alright. See you, Natsubu. See, so yeah, I like that part. Just sitting down on the floor and feel like garbage. It's a really nice part. You feel a calming tranquility. You're filled with determination. Save. Alright, let's move on. Up here is, uh, I believe, a new shop? Yeah. Here we get, uh, I believe, the cloudy glasses. I want to get these. Because I believe I've had the same armor since the beginning, so the cloudy glasses are a little better. There we go. Would really be pretty cool if it showed up. Hurt, beaten, and fearful for our lives, we surrendered to the humans. Seven of the greatest magicians sealed us underground with the magic spell. Anything can enter through the seal, but only be only beings with a powerful soul can leave. There's only one way to reverse the spell. If a huge power, equivalent to the seven human souls, attacks the barrier, it will be destroyed. But this cursed place has no entrances or exits. There is no way a human could come here. We will remain trapped down here forever. So here we got some puzzles. But don't worry, I, I know how to get through them, so it should be fine. So I believe... Uh, first. Oh yeah, special enemy Temmie appears here to defeat you. Ah oh, yes, Temmie. Feed Temmie Flakes. I don't have any. Temmie only wants the Temmie Flakes. No, so hungry. Dies. So yes, Temmie. What a magnificent creature Temmie is. Temmie Fiber Tensile. Alright, let's see. There are a few ways of sparing, but I'll just do talk first. You say hello to Temmie. Hi, I'm Temmie. So that enough is uh, that just saying hi to her is enough to spare. But I like to do the flex. You flex at Temmie. No, muscles are not cute. Ooh, I have to disagree. No. Just the two of us, huh? So yeah, Aaron comes and he makes Temmie go like run away. Flex. You flex. Aaron flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. See, that's a pretty, that's a pretty funny battle. 
Poor little tiny. Here we got more puzzles though. Light puzzles. So yeah, if it takes too long, then the, the floor will disappear. Mold mall. This one here is a new one. We just got a imitate, I believe. It, it actually wasn't a mold mall, but it did look like one. So we just got an unhug. You don't hug mold bug. It appreciates your respect of its boundaries. And that enough is to is uh it, that is enough to spare. Just unhung. Alright. Let's continue. Okay, it is almost time for the no another fight. Behind you. By the way, those flowers repeat the last thing they heard. I forgot to mention that. But right now we're cornered. Seven. Seven human souls. With the power of seven human souls, our king, King Asgore Dreamer, will become a, a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier will finally take the surface back from humanity and give them back the suffering, the pain, and pain we have endured. Understand, human? This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul, or I'll tear it from your body. Undyne, I'll help you fight. So yeah, Monster Kid kind of saves us here, gets in the way. Yo! You did it! Undyne is right in front of you! You've got front row seats to her fight! Wait... Who's she fighting? Hey! You aren't gonna tell my parents about this, are you? So yeah, Monster Kid is actually... He didn't know that Undyne is trying to fight us. Cause I believe he didn't know that we were a human. You hear a passing conversation. Hmm, if I say my wish, you promise you won't laugh at me? Of course I won't laugh. Someday, I'd like to climb this mountain we're all buried under. Standing under the sky, looking at the world all around. That's my wish. Hey, you said you wouldn't laugh at it. Sorry, it's just funny. That's my wish too. It's pretty nice. However, there was a prophecy. The angel. The one who has seen the surface. They will return and the underground will go empty. Yo! Here we have another encounter with Monster Kid. Yo, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but I want to ask you something. Man, I've never had to ask anyone this before. Um, yo, you're a human, right? Haha. -ha. Man, I knew it. Well, I know it now. I mean, Undyne told me, um, stay away from that human. So, like, um, I guess that makes us enemies or something. But I kind of stink at that. Haha. -ha. Yo, say something mean so I can hate you. Please? No. Yo, what? So I, ha I have to do it? Here goes nothing. Yo, I... I hate your guts. Man, I, I'm such a turd. I'm... I'm gonna go home now. Yo, w w wait, help! I tripped! So yeah, Monster Kid picks a pretty bad time to trip. But we got him. Yeah, yo, dude, if if you want to hurt my friend, you're going to have to get through me first. She's gone. 
Yo, you really saved my skin. Guess being enemies was just a nice thought. Haha. <laughs> we'll just have to be friends instead. Man, I should really go home. I bet my parents are worried sick about me. Yeah, bye Monster Kid. Later, dude. Yeah, hey, he didn't he didn't trip that time. Pretty nice. Seven. Seven human souls, and King Asgard will become a god. Six. That's how many we have collected thus far. Understand? Through your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. First, however, as is customary for those who make it this far, I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. It all started long ago. No. You know what? Screw it. Why should I tell you that story? When you're about to die! Yeah. You! You're standing in the way of everybody's hopes and dreams. Alpha's history books made me think humans were cool. With their giant robots and flowery swordsmen. But you? You're just a coward. Hiding behind that kid so you can run away from me again. Let's not forget your wimpy goody two-shoes stick. Ooh, I make such a difference by helping random strangers. You know what would be more valuable to everyone? If you were dead. That's right, human. Your continued existence is a crime. Your life is all that stands between us and our freedom. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts pounding together. Everyone's been waiting their whole lives for this moment. But we're not, gonna ner we're not nervous at all. When everyone puts their hearts together, they can't lose. Now, human, let's end this right here, right now. I'll show you how determined monsters can be. Step forward when you're already. Okay. Alright, enjoy the enjoy the undying fights.
Okay, that was a pretty nice fight. But anyways though, I think that's going to do it for now. So thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed, please leave a like. But this is Team G out. Have a nice day, everybody.